are these people? Our next story. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. It's the story that nobody seems to give a shit about. Unfortunately, <laughs> I do. And we're going to start by saying that right now. All right. I mean, I doesn't care. really. But... I care. Hey, look at that. Oh, no. check that out. We got the sliding down, down Kofi thing. And maybe the, the Kathy one will show up too. Like the, the little. Yep. Woohoo. All right. So I got to fix this now for one second. Whoop. And we're going to go here. Because this is a Twitter, a Twitter one. All right. I could not believe this shit right here. All right. As to do a, a Cat Williams. This shit right here. Um, holy moly. Never again. That was really bad. That, that was really bad. No, it's June bad. 4th, the day oh, that man. I publish my Stripe article. This comes across my fucking timeline. And I'm just like, oh my God. And not only that. To mass celebration and cheers. Okay. Breaking news. Amazon Labor Union formally affiliates with Teamsters? Oh. Hmm. Did, did, Maybe somebody could have called that. Please, please go here. I'm going to put it in chat for people. That's what I'm going to do. Did uh, anyone... We did, talked about this a long time ago. Did anyone um, see my conversation with the Amazon labor leaders who were kicked off of the executive board by Chris Smalls and the people who were still left. They had a lot to say I about didn't. Mr. I Smalls. Yeah, you did and you shouldn't. And we'll have to put that in some kind of link. That. How dare you? Um, not How only that, we, we had fire clips from that too. But we had five amazing people who had worked for Amazon labor union it would work for Amazon for JFK 8, which is the Staten Island warehouse here. So the Teamsters announced on June 4th, breaking news, the Amazon Labor Union has formally affiliated with the 1.3 million member strong Teamsters Union. The affiliation was announced by Teamsters General President Sean M. O'Brien during the union's general executive board meeting today in Washington, D.C. Huh. Okay. Uh, the Teamsters board unanimously approved the affiliation. Of course they did. This story is developing. Stay tuned for more details. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. So let's go to the outgoing. Let's not forget that this man is an outgoing president of Amazon Labor Union, where new elections have already been called for and will be happening by the end of July. So this guy will be out within six weeks. Eight weeks of this announcement. Today is a historical day for labor in America as we now combine forces with one of the most powerful unions to take on Amazon together. Our message is clear. We want a contract and we want it now. We're putting Amazon on notice that we're coming. Hashtag for the third year in a row. Hot labor summer. Oh. <sighs> I don't know if if I'm guessing Reef is that our our episode from like how do we miss that like episode two or no. three? Okay, that was that from was your Iron in, that was from Iron in News. Iron in News from a long time ago, literally a year ago. Yeah, we did one also where they were taking on. They had a plan, a multi year plan to take on Amazon. Now remember, Amazon yeah. Labor Union represents JFK eight only, one facility nationwide. All right. He's celebrating spiking the football. First of all, it's not a historical day, Chris. It's a historic day. Happy Father's Day, by the way. He's a father of twins, as am I. And I, I, I got to acknowledge uh -huh. that he's a human being. But at the same time, are you fucking kidding me? Are you, are you sure those aren't lizard kids? He might be a lizard person. Are Have you, you fucking about kidding this? me? All right. Is all I could say when I saw <laughs> this. All right. Now, uh -huh. he had to preempt this motherfucker. Before people start listening to nonsense coming from people that literally had nothing to do with anything, both mm -hmm. unions will vote ratify. This agreement was okay. negotiated by current leadership from both sides. Yeah, the leadership that kicked off most of the leadership at your side, asshole, which started weeks ago. Yeah, 
but you didn't tell anybody. You weren't transparent, and you didn't tell your fucking rank and file the entire time, did you? No, I can tell you because Michelle, who is running for president to replace Chris Smalls, said to the Teamsters, you have no right to post this. Full inclusion of the rank and file and ratification should have been formalized before posting this, Teamsters. What the fuck are you doing? They're trying to get the story out and they're trying to, cha to shape the narrative. Now it doesn't matter. Everybody believes that ALU is now part of the Teamsters, whether they are or they aren't. It was a PR job. This really pisses me off. Because this is the total smokescreen. This guy's leaving. Yeah. He should shut the fuck up and put this to his membership. I said. You never know. He might he might get a new cushy job somewhere. You know? I my my take number one, on top of that, I, I pile on to what Michelle says. I said the Teamsters obviously don't care about actual union members. Sean O'Brien, that at Teamster SOB is Sean O'Brien. He's the president of the Teamsters. Made a deal with an outgoing union head and stuck the next admin to deal with all this nonsense? Great job to separate Amazon labor from big labor that fillets the corporate duopoly. Good job. I heard that Sean O'Brien was endorsing Trump. Awesome. That was a fucking brilliant yeah. move, Chris. <laughs> All right. Yep. Now, here's my next question. Luis Felice Leon from Labor Notes publishes Scoop. Rank and file Amazon workers still have to ratify the agreement. Chris Smalls, president of the ALU, and Sean O'Brien, president of the Teamsters, signed to affiliate the ALU with the IBT. Union leadership elections will be held as planned. Agreement below. My ask, my yep. question is, why is this being announced by an outgoing union head? This seems like an attempt to derail a new leadership from effectively taking power. And here's the biggest question. Will Smalls get a job with the Teamsters now, maybe as the lead representative for JFK 8? New elections maybe. are happening at JFK 8 now. This is a scam. Don't fall for this, please. And of course, everybody did. Yep. Nicole, who was one of the people who we interviewed with Chermo and Ron and Michelle. Um, I think there was another one, too. I can't remember. Maybe there were only four of them. Amazing people. We had such a great conversation. I need to have them back on, see how things are going. Nicole says, same old smoke and mirrors, while ALU members in this New York non-right-to-work state have no choice. Lives have been ruined because of the ALU leaders' corrupt incompetence. This agreement is worth the read, and I encourage everyone to read it. Again, it will be in the description after we're done. Care Bear! Ah, Care Bear, I know. Care Bear is as triggered by, by this whole thing as I am. And yes, are you fucking kidding me? Probably should go on the soundboard at this point. Um... He asked what? in the chat, wasn't Small supposed to have a general strike against Biden this year? I That's what I was looking for. remember that. To put that up. Yep, 2024. I remember him saying that two years ago. That was in our article criticizing Chris Smalls. Way, way back work. Yep. Way, way, way back when. Okay. Running out of time, Chris. Yep. Uh, 2024 is almost here. All right. So, all right. Oh, they canceled that. This is a bad year to do that as it could hurt Biden's reelection chances. Right. Smalls has to wait until he has leverage, then he'll strike. Right. Now they're talking May Day 2028. Because remember, that's what the UAW aligned their contract and encouraged everyone to schedule the end of their contract to coincide with that so we can have general strike at all, you know, with all the stuff um happening at the same time. Yes, Cynic, Smalls is full of large shite. That is that is my take as well. Um so now, on top of that, here is the link underneath Colin's thing. And what this was, was Smalls had gone to Columbia, all right, and had spoken out. And what Colin said was that workers at JFK 8 do not necessarily think of Smalls as a great leader. Perhaps you should listen to their stories before you tweet any opinions about this guy. All right. And I said, here you go. And here's the information. All right. And Ophelia Mom, who was a friend of the of mine on Twitter for a long time, 
He says, wow, I hate to hear it, but not surprised. The wise man once said, one can't have fame and fortune without sacrificing some truth and justice. Sad that it's proven true too often these days. All right. And I said, we saw it coming and we tried to help. How many times? It's nice for us that he's there because we support it. But he may also represent people who do not support this rally. Okay. That was the, the very famous Columbia sit-in all right, that we covered where they, they were starting to form the tents that then erupted into all the colleges around the city. This was the very first yeah. one, and he showed up there very early on with, by the way, I think it was AOC the same day, right? Yep. All right. I said union leaders should be advocating for their workers and not getting involved in political fights. That's Teamsters and UAW. All right. Mm -hmm. And then, by the way, here's the article that we, we co-wrote at INN back in September of 2022. All right. Six months after the members voted to unionize. All right. The video for this thumbnail is at the bottom of the article. It took us over a month to collectively write it. I mean, we put a ton of time and research and receipts into this. And still nobody's written anything quite like it as far as I know. All right. This was um receipts, proof, timeline, screenshots, in everything. Right, this was Joe's video. How many revisions did we make of this? Colin helped us kind of go through, and I have like a bunch of different versions of this. Words can't describe this feeling, though. We, uh, we put in our blood, sweat, tears. That memo that came out calling me not smart or articulate. Um, ironically, they also said to make me the face of the whole unionizing efforts, which I had no intention at the time. That's the problem. You let an entire movement hinge on one person. It's time to wake up. Come on, get up. When we reached out initially to David, he didn't want to do the show. He did, yes. So you're telling me you're a union leader. When the fuck do you see union leaders on mainstream media? Never. Do you think his fucking phone is uh -huh. off the hook a month ago, three months ago, last fucking year? Uh, Robert has a pretty big title. Sometimes he goes first. Uh, but we're starting with you, uh, Christian. Thanks for being here today. And he's the lead Amazon protest organizer joining us from New Jersey there. Thank you, Chris. Really appreciate your time. Here in New York, in an historic victory for labor rights. It's the man himself, Christian Smalls, president of the victorious Dude, Amazon Joe's labor such union. You must be taking I special him. pleasure in this victory, right? Well, I, I certainly am rooting for you. I mean, maybe if they throw some more woke slogans at you, you'll forget you can't feed your family. <laughs> Right. Chris, I appreciate your coming on. Thank you uh, very much. Uh, the, the biggest victory in the modern American labor movement. And it was a battle that was fought tooth and nail. The union victory at Amazon Warehouse in Staten Island is by far the biggest beat the odds David versus Goliath unionization win I've seen. And, and he covered labor for decades for the New York Times. Uh, that would make you the proverbial David. How did you do it? First union at Amazon. You went to war with Goliath. With <laughs> Bezos. This is not just David and Goliath. I mean, this is David and Goliath squared. He really represents uh, mm -hmm. a modern day David and Goliath story that I think inspires a lot of people. People are calling this a David versus Goliath type mm -hmm. of story. Goliath, Christian, was not actually technically Ask David. them! Um, although he was large, he was in good fighting shape. Uh, but based on my knowledge of the story, well, such as it is. Um, and this is David versus Goliath, and I can tell you now, we all gotta be David. We wanna thank Jeff Bezos for going to space, because when he was up there, we were signing people yeah, up. You thanked him for flying in Martha. his penis-shaped rocket. <laughs> so I was just telling the truth, you know, um, and he needs to know that. You know, he thought he thanked us when he came back. You know, we paid for that trip. So, you know, in this case, we wanted to remind him that you keep going to space, we want to continue to unionize. You are now a national figure in this mm -hmm. new labor uh, movement. That's the problem. You let an entire movement hinge on one person, and they cut the fucking head off of your movement. We have unity of action. We lack unity of thought. But our unity of action, I mean, it shocks us. In 1965, the African and whites revolted. I mean, revolted. They shocked America. Shocked themselves. We did that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's your approach from here? To what degree do you think you can cooperate more with Amazon leadership? Or to what degree do you think that's wise? Dude, this is almost an open letter to, to Christian. If you're, if you're out there listening, if anyone sends this to you, right? You know, just, just keep in mind who has been supporting you. It's time to wake up. Come on, get up. Let's make sure he sees this and hears this. You know, don't sell up. Don't forget about the people behind behind you, the people who amplified you. And now they're controlling the narrative on you, which they put AOC out and Bernie out. She's doing an extraordinary job. Please welcome Congresswoman oh. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. He had so everything. This ish. I am not voting for any mm -hmm. of you fools in November. We've got their back. We've got their back. Oh, my God.
You should have never invited Bernie Sanders and AOC because it's not going to elevate it. You let them know like, hey, you turned our back on us. You don't come with us. What kind of message do you think that would have sent to the other Congress people out there? Had you done that? Instead, you will open arms to these people. Oh, this ain't about Republican or Democrat, but let these progressives come on in. And now let's hype up the, the progressives. Just because you say this isn't about Republican or Democrat doesn't mean it's so if the actions don't back it up. And at the end of the day, what did we get? What do you think every Republican gets to do now? They get to fight you. Mm-hmm. Right. You appear as an adversary now to right wingers at shutdown. Amazon is now either co-opted or has explaining to do in less than one month. He showed up to GQ comma teen Vogue shaking at POTUS's hands. I mean, for, for me, seeing the, you know, the warm welcome from from Joe Biden and stuff. Good trouble. Good trouble. Good trouble. My kind of trouble. Congratulations. Right now, it just looks like. Biden and company are treating him like a puppy, basically, mm-hmm. like a cute little mm-hmm. puppy. Whereas, you know, Chris should be coming in like a pit bull. In mm-hmm. the sense of they should be fearful of him. They got a little trouble by it. You may recall. Yeah, they were really fearful. Yeah, I'm looking forward to them being organized. Yeah, well, hey, well, you, well, you got it done in one place. Yeah. Let's not stop. That's right. Just met the president, LOL. He said I got him in trouble. Good. But. Okay, so I, I mean, just does he really believe that shit? Fam. Does he really believe that? But. Fam, what ended up happening is that Biden actually approved a huge uh, federal contracts for Amazon anyway, to the point where Jacobin had to write about it. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Seriously? What the fuck? You are such a fucking hey. asshole who doesn't care about the people. I mean, this whole thing stinks this to high heaven. I mean, I'm glad you got in there and you fought and you did something. But what mm-hmm. do we get? What do we get? We haven't gotten anything yet. We don't know. Use your power correctly. And don't forget that this guy that you're going to shake his hands, he's the one who created all the conditions in which we're swimming in right now. It's go time. Come on. Don't let your movement hinge on one person. It doesn't work. FDR did the same fucking thing. History lesson. Go read your fucking history books. What did FDR do? He took the socialists. He took the communists. He talked the talk. He gave them the new deal. He gave them the federal jobs program. And then he cut the fucking heads off of their movement. And he absorbed their leaders. And he crushed their movements for a hundred years. You got nothing since. Nothing. All the wealth going to the top 1% and you got shit. Even during the pandemic, what did they give you? Fucking scraps, crumbs of $1,200. That's how much they respect you. And then Bernie Sanders is like, Joe Biden was a friend of mine. Like, how do you not see the doctor? <laughs> Wake up, <laughs> asshole. Oh, I yep. love that guy so goddamn much. Holy shit. He's so good. <laughs> He's just as good as it gets. Um, all right, let's turn off the slideshow now. And let's go back here. Good. All right. You got no friends in Washington, D.C. Your enemy is laughing at you. Yes, he is. So, like I explained, we did not want to do any of this stuff. But man, it feels, man, God, it feels good to be a gangster because we were right in every way. (laughs) You know, um, Uh we didn't want to write it. We didn't see anyone else covering it that way. What we've been... Uh, seeing since uh, has been less than stellar to say the least him being in New York City appears to be a good thing but he represents thousands and should be advocating for them not politics and that was my last take on our friend Chris Smalls who would probably want to not be so happy with me I would guess but hey man I gotta call it like I see it and be fair and you know and uh, talking to the people that you claim to represent Though you haven't worked at that facility in four plus years, let's call that for what it is. You got fired. You never went back. Hey, 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 uh, he did do a fundraiser with Gucci. So, you know, he's got that going for him, you know? Right. And and he went to Cuba. Yes, I know, Cynic. He did. He he did did go to to Cuba. He went to Cuba. He went to Germany. He went to England and he fought with the with the. People who were trying to unionize over there. He went to California. He spoke all over the country. He went to Toronto very famously. Also, I've been, I've, I got a Chris Smalls file when he says he's traveling. I just drop a drop a tweet in there, and it's remarkable where where he's managed to go. <laughs> he's a world traveler. Yeah. Um, but, and I spoke with these Amazon workers who are still working at JFK Eight that don't feel like they're being represented and are upset. And now they have to deal with the now (laughs) propagandization once again of the Teamsters 
Wow, the Teamsters want to be involved with us. We must have done something really good to organize uh -huh. and get their attention to have them want to support us and work with us. Wow. So the Teamsters have never been a tool of control by anyone. It's never. Remarkably never enough, been. Colin, Chris Smalls has never <laughs> blocked me. Now, he's blocked INN. I know he blocked you. He's blocked most of the people at the network, but he's never blocked me. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know if that's because he knows. <clears throat> I, I, I don't know. I've, I've always been fair. I've been respectful. I've been angry, but I've always been fair and I've always brought receipts. So he could block me if he wanted. He could call me racist and he could call me whatever he wanted to. But I got fucking mountains of receipts. All right. He's never once challenged that, you know, or, or come back to challenge that article whatsoever or any of the substance, including what Colin wrote, okay, about his hoop dreams, all right, and, and the stuff about yeah. Zendaya. I didn't even write that part of it, all right? Um, again, this one, that was a collective article that took us weeks to write. And Joe, yeah. put, the MVP, putting that video together, but he didn't just put that one together. There's another video in the article also. It was, it was so substantive, all right? It talked in depth about why he shouldn't have gone to D.C., and how badly he sold out and how he had aligned himself with the American Federation of Teachers and the Netroots Nation and the entire Democratic Party union apparatus. It, yeah. Thank you, Cynic. Uh, to the point where our friend Jesse Jett, God bless him. I love him to death. All right. I shout out. Happy Father's Day to Jesse. Wrote a song or wrote a spoken word piece called Union Drip. All right. That talked all about not just Chris. But what they do to people, young labor leaders who are leaders of movements. All right. So, again, this happened, what, 12 days ago. Have you mm -hmm. seen any show talk about it? Zero. Zero coverage. Zero. And any coverage that you saw was fawning. Oh, my God. Look at how great these guys did. This is terrific. No criticism, no skepticism, no questioning, knowing that these guys fucking align with big corporate, you know, definitely with big nope. politics. Nope. Uh, it, it fucking stuns me, angers me. And look, you know, we've had other creators tell us that labor is not sexy. It's not sexy. Uh -huh. Okay. It's no. Nope. All right. So they don't want to cover it because people don't really want to hear about it. But it's important. Look, Himbo and I did a show. Shame. Yes. Thank you. Shame. Yeah. So Himbo and I did a show last year called Nobody Wants to Work Anymore um, about the, the difficulties of looking for a job and how fucky the job market is. And yeah. <laughs> And all of and part of it was about unionization. And we talked about the UAW strike and we talked about the writers and actors strikes. And we we got their perspectives on this whole thing and how it was being negotiated by leadership. Now, my big criticism here is ALU was supposed to be an independent union. You got two years and you don't have a first contract. All right. Mm -mm. And that's what they've been arguing with Chris Smalls is we're going to help you get a first contract. But you're about uh -huh. to have new elections. You ha you you're not going to at least give the new leadership a chance to get a first contract. Nope. Like no, they nope. did not want to give anybody else the chance to get that home that that uh, Chris was not going to be involved with or handpicked. Because now when the Teamsters do it, Chris can claim victory. Ooh, sweet victory! Yeah. And you know what? I'd love to claim <laughs> victory for them, and I don't give a shit. I, look, I don't care about giving out credit per se, but dude, you just fucked over your entire union membership. I hate to tell you. Ask any Teamster for UPS that's a part-timer. Ask any warehouse yep. member. Ask any fucking warehouse member for UPS. Ask any... God, how many other Teamsters... Any Teamster that worked for... um. What what was the other one where they went on strike two years ago? I think it was Mack Trucks. I don't know if that was UEW yep. or the Teamsters. But there was definitely at least one other Teamster strike 
No, it was John Deere. Teamsters and John Deere. Two years ago, we covered this on How Do We Miss That? Yeah, we've been doing this a fucking month. Well, we covered that about two years ago. Anybody know who that right. was? Anyone? Uh -huh. Anyone? Um, we'll, Colin we'll is now the out. union rep. <clears throat> is now the union rep at his school, and he hates it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, yeah. Cookie says that labor is indeed sexy. Uh, I will disagree with you. It's sexy to corporate scumbags who love abusing labor and extracting wealth. Right. It's just not sexy to news people I, I hate, and to I people to who watch you. on stream. Labor unions are reformist in nature. Yeah. It's Own the means of production. Where it starts. <laughs> yes, where it starts. All right. So, uh, But, you know, it's just me. We've got all of our wonderful supporters. Support independent media, like I say all the time, because it's more important than ever. Because where else are you getting that story? You get a service. You you get product for this. It's not a donation. It's not a, a crowdfunding. And we have to be careful now about how we say this. But we have supporters who appreciate the content that we provide on an ongoing daily, weekly basis. And we love you for it. Thank you so much. I love you all. Support independent media because we need it more than ever. Thank you. And I'll see you. We'll see you next week. Yeah. Bye, fam. Keep us of what little person to tell you. Seen you a bit. No! We just fucking lost the stream!